So I was driving in, and uh, I come into the office as late as possible. Everybody here uh, knows this because uh, I, I like to work the, the second shift. There is no shift, but I can kind of set my own hours. And I hit, hit traffic. So I am the only time, the only thing I had time to do prior to hitting go live was make coffee because that's priorities. So I think I have things set up. And here we are. So this is going to be a very informal. Actually, who am I kidding? It's always informal. It's always just kind of you, me, and uh, an opportunity to sit around, look at expired domains, and hopefully together we can learn something and get better at finding great domains. Maybe find a domain name that is like perfect for one of us to really do something great with. Hopefully it's you. Hopefully I can find something for you to uh, fall in love with and spend a lot of time just like out of like love and passion for what the domain name is and what the project can possibly be for you to put the time necessary into learning the skills, developing a site, creating a business and an opportunity for you to uh, experience the, the, the freedom, flexibility and success that a domain to a developed business can provide for you. That's the hope. That's the hope. Uh, because this is not the primary Domain to Profit show, which is yesterday at 3 p.m., which I interviewed uh, David Castello. Uh, because this is informal, I am open to, if you have a domain name you're interested in, uh, maybe even that you're looking to sell that you think is perfect for development, then you can mention in the, the chat and we can chat about it. Now, here's the thing. If it is a domain I think is not good, I am going to be really, really, hopefully as honest as I can possibly be, partly because I think we've been doing this enough weeks for you to really kind of have an idea of what kind of domains uh, are best for development. So hopefully I can see some quality in the domains that you bring up. Otherwise, I'm going to bash them, and that's not good for anybody. You don't really want on the permanent record that your domain is probably not going to be good for development. So just kind of tossing that out there. Uh, so let me uh, just say hi to everybody. Michael, thanks for, for joining us again. Uh, always appreciate it when you get in here. Uh, let me see, user1388. Uh, good username. Very unique. Uh, only, only 1,387 other people. Tried that, but that's cool. Hi, thanks for being here, uh, Lee. Uh, uh, nice to have you. And, and yeah, user thirteen eighty eight is here to say new here. We kind of picked that up, but that's okay. It, we, I'm glad you're here. I really am. Uh, and then Darcy, I'm not even sure what the heck that means, but uh, hand up. Yeah, I'm. I'm not even okay. I'll I'll leave that alone. So uh, as always, mention in the chat. So what we're going to do is we are going to spend quite a bit of time, assuming I have things set up correctly, uh, we're going to spend time over on uh, expired domains. Okay, it's a wave. Well, I wasn't sure because on my screen, I also see uh, like the mail. I think it's the mail symbol. So I wasn't sure if like, I don't know what that was about. I, we have, There's a saying here in Cincinnati, uh, but I'm, I'm just not going to repeat it live. So, okay. Uh, so we're going to be over here. See if that shows up right. Okay. So as you may be familiar, I'm going to take it a little bit slow uh, and build up some of the things that uh, Michael, Darcy, uh, Lee, you probably have heard me say a bunch of times, but hey, you know, let's let's continue to, to get the basics. The basics are important. There's a few things that we know are important in well, we talk about them often. And also, hey, Ivan, how are you doing? All the way from Europe, you and uh, Lee are across the pond neighbors. So so part of the reason why I wanted to go live was this domain that you probably see right here on top, fiscal.com. Uh, it was up over $30,000 on GoDaddy auctions and uh, it got pulled. So like if you go to that domain name right now, 
when the internet loads it, boom, the domain name is gone. This is just how it kind of goes at times. Uh, supposedly that domain name was pulled late. It should have actually went to auction. Uh, I've not seen the comments or I've not seen the explanation for why it's no longer up for auction, but th these things happen. These are expired domain names. So uh, think of them almost like a foreclosure type property or some kind of property that was abandoned. For whatever reason, these domains are no longer uh, the, the previous owners letting them expire uh, by choice, forgot about it, whatever it is. These domains are uh, coming back available for us to grab. And most of them are garbage, but sometimes they're, they're very valuable. I've picked up a lot of domain names, spent uh, well over a half a million dollars on expired domain names. I'd have to get a specific number on that. I, I think it's probably just about a half a million dollars on expired domain names. And I don't, I will spend as much as necessary to continue to get the right domain names. So what we are looking at right now is expireddomains.net. Let me share that out on the screen here. Uh, it's expireddomains.net. And then I've clicked on marketplace domains. So there's a lot of different reports. You'll just have to explore expireddomains.net here. Uh, yours will not be dark background. I changed that in my settings. Uh, but to get a free account here. Uh, you go to marketplace domains. This is where you'll find expired domain names. You'll find deleted domains all over the place. You can find domains everywhere. You can just go up to this bar up here and search for something that you're interested in. It's going to find domains. This is like a rather comprehensive tool for searching through domains. Uh, we spend a lot of our time marketplace domains. These are GoDaddy expired, which GoDaddy is huge. So they have a lot of expired domains. Uh, snap names, we'll spend some time on pre-release. Then also I usually check drop catch. And what else do we check? Uh, maybe name silo has some. Uh, there's, there's a couple different places. Anyone that registers domains, any registrar, the place that you go and register a .com, for example, uh, any of them can, uh, will, well, those domains, when somebody lets them go, they go through some type of drop, which is where that domain name goes back into the world. Uh, in some cases, these, these services grab those domains and then auction them up. Other cases, they will take a domain name that's expiring on their platform, and before they release it to the public, it goes through auctions. So it's kind of just up to the different service. It is the wild, wild west. So uh, just like we see with physical.com, which, you know, this had a, uh, let's see here. Physical.com is the one that uh, is up on top here. Had 128 bids, 128 bids on that domain name, over $30,000 and poof, it's gone. Like where it went, nobody knows. We assume that the original owner renewed it, but again, we don't know. Like it's, it's a black box that most of the time works out to where you get it. The nice thing is, is anybody that bid that much money, they're not going to be paying it. You only pay if you get the domain name. Actually, sometimes you pay and they refund you uh, rather slowly, but you get your money back. So uh, then we uh, also, it's like a UK party here. We got Lee, Ivan, and Peter all from the UK. Like I need to, uh, I need to uh, start like a UK branch or something. Maybe I'll have to be polite and like do a, a time just for you guys. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not, I'm not that nice of a guy. So on these expired domains, we'll spend time on these different ones. I want to go to drop catch first. Uh, and we'll, here we will start to set up our filters. Uh, as you can see, Dropcatch has 3,100 domain names. A lot of them are private sellers, which if you're saw, viewing this on a small screen, you may not be able to see that. Uh, but there's private seller, pre-release, and then dropped. Those are kind of some of the three different statuses. So private seller means a guy like me, I'm like, hey, I want to sell my domain name. I can sell it through Dropcatch. Boom, I put it up there and it can sell, drop catch makes a commission off of it. Pre-release means that this is a domain name that you can try to get on on the auction. 
Uh, I don't believe they necessarily have it yet, but they believe they will be able to get it. It may be through their, their parent company. Uh, so you can start to be part of that auction when it's in that pre-release. And then these dropped ones here, which is what we primarily concentrate on this show. Uh, dropped means it's already been dropped. It fell out, it expired, it's available, but they grabbed it and now they're putting it out there for auction for you and me to purchase. Uh, so we concentrate on the dropped auctions here. So 3,100 domains is what they have there. And I'm going to go over here and we're gonna start setting up filters. The filters are one of the major, it's like the power of expireddomains.net. Uh, it lets you kind of determine and put into uh, the system and kind of get out what you want to see, which uh, let me go over to GoDaddy real quick because it's a better example. GoDaddy has, as you can see here, try not to spill my coffee. GoDaddy has over a half a million domain names that are going to be expiring. And that's like over eight days or nine days or something like that. So it's like a half a million domains. Uh, and that's just GoDaddy. There's all kinds of other ones. It's like a million domains or something a week that are always just kind of coming up and churning. Uh, so there's a lot. There's a lot that's happening at all times. Out of a half a million, like most of them are garbage. Most of them are not going to be what you're looking for, which is why filters are important. So uh, what we want to do is we want to filter. And let me just share some experience uh, I welcome if people think I should add something new or change these filters up. My experience says I don't want any numbers in my domain names. I don't want any hyphens. Those are uh, hyphens kill a domain name, even if it's a hyphenated word. That would be the only case that you might possibly want a hyphen. Uh, but for the most part, I'd say nix it. And then I do one to three words. So I want English words. Yes, you're going to miss out on domain names like abc.com or abcd.com or something. But really, do you, like that might be fun to own that domain name, but realistically, what's why well, it's garbage. I don't. I, I'm not going to do anything with that. Now, abc.com would be a pretty fun domain to own. We're going to miss out with it, miss out on that on these filters, but that's okay. Like I. It's okay if we were to miss out on that. If you really are worried about abc.com or 123.com, then you need to set up an alert to watch for those domains. Then what we're going to do is go over here. I only look for the domains ending in the next eight days. The reason why I do that is because I know that in the next eight days, I'm going to do this exact same thing, typically on Mondays at 3 p.m., which, yes, next Monday I'll be in Orlando, Florida, and we'll be doing the show from there. And when I travel, I just kind of concentrate on expired domains. Then over here, here's probably the controversial, uh, the, the one that a lot of people probably disagree with me on. And that is, I only concentrate on .com. So I only want .com. It's proven that that's the primary domain extension. And I don't want to go through all the effort of trying to promote some alternative domain name. Uh, I do own some dot not, dot, dot .nets, some dot .orgs. I own a couple dot .tvs. In fact, domain to profit, dtp.tv is, is one of the easiest URLs you can get to the site. But we also have domain to profit.com and so on. Uh, dot .ccs, I think I don't own any of those. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other ones. I own a couple. I own one dot .io as well as... Uh, uh, a, a few dot app domains, but those are all like speculative, just like they were fun domains. Probably should get rid of them, but I keep them anyways. Uh, I'm not, so anyhow, dot com is it. Dot com, dot com, dot com, uh, dot com. Like Smurf language. Just anybody out there like old enough to like speak like Smurfs and they used to just say Smurf, 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 Smurf. And everything was just the word Smurf. Well, that's us. We're just .com, .com, .com. Okay, so I am going down here. I'm applying those filters. We'll see these 3,100 domains weed out down to 1,700. And now what I want to do is I want to concentrate only on the dropped domains. So uh, Dropcatch is going to have a small amount of domains. We'll be able to quickly look at these domains uh, and there probably isn't anything here for us, but 
let's start somewhere. And this is pretty much it. This is the life. We are going uh, Easter egg hunting or whatever other thing we do when we hunt for stuff. Uh, needle in a haystack. No, there's there's more. There's It's not even needle in a haystack. Some of these are good. Okay. So if you see something, I know that uh, most of you are a little bit delayed. Uh, well, all of you are delayed. If you're watching this, especially on YouTube, there's like about a 20 second delay. If you see something on my screen that you're like, boom, that looks great. Or if you're following along with whatever filters you want, if I skip over something, type it in chat, let me know. And I will either tell you I skipped over it on purpose because I thought it was not good, or maybe I missed it. There's certainly been times of that. Or if it's something you're bidding on, you just kind of hope I skip, then of course, don't mention it. But I will try to mention anything, even if I plan on bidding on it, because this is I'm looking at domains for my sake. This is for me as much as you. So I often will, during the show, place bids and things like that. Uh, I am not seeing much of anything. Let me zoom out, make sure we're still with the drop domains. So what you'll see, a lot of these are going to be one or two words placed together. They kind of sound like they could be something real, like a dip coin. Ooh, what if somebody starts to a cryptocurrency called dip and dip coin would be great. And yeah, we can speculate that this may be a good domain. Yes, sure. It might be. Maybe it would. Maybe that'll pay you money if you register it and then somebody buys it from you in the future, or if you're really ambitious and want to have do a crypto project yourself, but you, there's all kinds of, it, that is not like dip coin does not exist. There is no thing there yet. There, you are truly painting and creating a unique work of art if you were to buy Dipcoin and try to do something with it. So if you bring that to the uh, to all these domains, we can come up with stuff for any of these domain names, right? We can build something on any of these domain names. Uh, we can tell stories about any of them. Uh, like residential furniture up here, that's actually not bad. I don't think anybody ever searches for residential furniture. They probably search for home furniture because uh, residential is really long. But say for residential furniture, you can list residential furniture on it. National lotteries, you can list out all the different lotteries and maybe create fake lotteries just to play with your community or something. Unipin, I think there is actually a Unipin possibly. I know Uni is a pin company. Uh, so you probably get into trademarks with that. Lush Pup, I don't know, but you can come up with some stuff on that. Your imagination is hopefully, go. it goes wild when you see a list of these domain names. That's good. That's good. That's where you need. You're in a creative headspace. Uh, pure Treat. I, I'd see, I would put that one mostly in that same ballpark. I can come up with things for Pure Treat, but the only, it, 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 there's not going to be any search volume, which with that said, let's go to our alternative tool over here, spyfoo.com. So this is how you test me. Realistically, uh, you know, for user 1368 or 1388 or whatnot, uh, one of the first time viewers, it, you know, how do you know that this guy Drew has any clue what the heck he's talking about? Well, one of the first things you can do with a domain name is break it apart and toss the keywords into a tool like spyfoo.com. This is, uh, we're just using a free, the free tool. You do not have to pay for it to get what we're doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type this one in here that Michael gave to us, uh, which is pure treat. And what this is going to do is give us some metrics. It's going to give us some data points about those keywords together that we can use to determine if pure treat is a domain name that's that has some juice to it. It has, in fact, I think I have, let me, uh, let me click some buttons here and see which one I, okay. I do have Skycam set up. So uh, we talk about a domain name, the domains that we're looking to develop. Those domain names are going to be the ones that have just inherent authority. They have, they validate and have validation for the owner uh, in that industry and those people that are searching for that domain name. They all have potential, but certain domains kind of have more potential. 
that's going to be a gut gut call. Uh, then scarcity. The nice thing about these domains is uh, for most of them, there's there's only one domain. In some cases, like dog groomers, doggroomer.com, and alternate. There's others that would work, but there's only a few. And if you can get those primary domains, then you're in a pretty good position. So Pure Treat, for example, we have 28, I'm pointing to the screen, but we have 28 uh, monthly searches or 28 people that are possibly searching for this. Uh, so you can see 28 people. So this domain communicates and could provide these things here. If you're puretreat.com and they're searching for Pure Treat, boom, like they're going to be like, hey, this person knows what they're talking about when it comes to pure treat. It validates. It's going to validate what you have. What do we have underneath here? It's been a while. Value. Yeah. Validation is better. <laughs> Potential scarcity uh, all happen with pure treat for those 28 people. Question is, is, is that going to be worth uh, the hundred bucks or whatever to get that? I say no. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I do like to look over here at similar keywords, see what's happening. This would be a brand. This is exactly what I was thinking of here. If you were somebody that's already creating dog treats and you're like, hey, I want to go on the internet and create a brand, Pure Treat sounds like it could be a brand. But that's a brand. It's not going to be um, something like you can develop it, but I don't know. What do you, I, I guess you can develop it maybe and uh, show dog treats that are pure, some kind of organic or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it, Michael. Uh, it would be something that I would skip, which I'm guessing. Uh, the, once you see the numbers, you can kind of guess that. So these numbers here, this one especially. And then if you scroll down, uh, you can also see there's only like 10 people searching on Google for it. Uh, 28 people are actually paying to that. They're paying 28 cents to advertise for this for advertisers. Hey, so people are paying money related to it. There's four people paying money to target this keyword, but there's only 28 things. So I don't know. It, it, it's a pass for me. If you get it for like really, really cheap or get it just hand registered, then sure, 10 bucks, maybe you can do something with it. Are you going to be passionate about it enough? Are you going to be passionate enough to develop it? And I'm guessing not. So I'm going to skip over and move on. Um, Deep Flow sounds like a good brand. Um, not, I'm looking for more than brands, which stick with me because once we find one that is on point, you will suddenly uh, be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's an opportunity. For example, don't mess with this domain name, uh, but toyotatrucks.com, you've got to be kidding me. Like, that's a freaking huge domain name. If you are a car dealer and allowed to register this domain name, uh, $59. If you were to register this right now, uh, because it has a registered trademark in it, you are going to likely lose that domain name. Don't spend money on that domain name unless you're a Toyota truck dealer. And in that case, you might be allowed to have it in your domain. Uh, but what a great domain name, unfortunately, has a trademark in it. So avoid it. Website links. Interesting. These are fun domains. They just don't necessarily make sense. Catfish Lake sounds like a real place. Remote content. Again, like... It sounds good. Remote content. Let's let's type it in the spy foo. Let's check. Let's check it out. Remote content. I mean, that's something we say in our office occasionally. Like, hey, we need this content to be remote. We need this remote content. Um, remote content writer jobs. Remote content jobs. I not feeling it. Like this one's probably the best. There's a little bit of something to this domain name. Uh, I just. I'm not passionate about it. I'm not loving it. Uh, certainly, if you are, if you write content, if you are a content writer, if you're here because you're like, hey, this is about domain names and I write content for domain names, then remote content may make sense for you. You can pull you and others that write content from anywhere in the world and you can build a directory or put your resume up there and suddenly you do have some authority. 
for being that person that does remote content for companies that need a remote content person. Makes sense. Not something that I'm going to be uh, bidding on though. And I just want to check out to make sure. And we are down to the private sellers, which actually, if you look at that, I think remote content, nope, that is a dropped. So remote content is a dropped. And the way that that will work is if you want to bid on that, you will need to set up a dropcatch.com domain or user account. You will need to be authorized to bid. Uh, they have a process for going through that. So make sure you do that before you go to bid. Uh, $64 is currently what it is. Ends in one day in one hour. Uh, remotecontent.com if you're interested in that one. Not my favorite. And we are going to move on to uh, bigger and better. Actually, let's move on to snap names, which I don't necessarily consider snap names bigger and better, but uh, sometimes we'll find some good stuff over here. Uh, we'll find out if today is that day. Maybe. So when you are over on uh, snap names or most of these, you have to have a reason to order these domains. So you'll see over here on snap names up here, uh, there's still 13,000 domains, 13,000 domains to look through. And that's with all of our filters set up. So uh, right here, we still have our seven filters set up and those filters uh, have left us with 13,000 domain names. We're not going to look through them all here right now on the show, but possibly you, if you're really, really looking for an opportunity, you may want to uh, set up other filters. So let me show you some of the filters that I use occasionally. Uh, you might want to go with a domain name that starts with or contains a keyword that you're looking for. Uh, for example, uh, we do a lot with towing. So we might look for tow. We might want something with tow in it. We don't. We already feel good about our portfolio there, but that's a good one. Like we want to look for domains around a subject that we're interested in. A uh, one of my guys here, Matt, who's uh, behind me, uh, he is always he, like he's bought uh, gamereleases.com, uh, but he looks for game related domains because he's a gamer, he streams, and that is his passion. So that's what he looks for. He's searching for great domains related to gaming. So you can type in game in here, or GAM even, and kind of keep it open to translation. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And what we are going to do instead is we are going to concentrate on ordering. So by ordering, we're going to look for a way to pull these 13,000 domain names and kind of get the best ones on top. That's what we want to do. We want to just find the best ones. So over the course of five, 10 minutes here, we can have the best opportunity at finding something good. So the one uh, there's a couple different things you can look at, especially with snap name domains. Uh, I, a lot of times will look here and let me see. I don't know if does that, no, it does not show up. Uh, when I hover over this here, reg, it says number of TLDs, which is top level domain, number of TLDs, the domain name is registered in. That means that, for example, this abcsoneline.com, whatever that is, is registered in three different top level domains. So that means that that domain is actually registered in others. So it kind of matters. It, there's more people interested in whatever that domain name is. So if we order by that, just click on the top of the column. Now we are seeing domain names at the top that are registered in a lot of top level domains. So these are gonna be these alternatives, .net, .org, .info, .tv, .xyz, or whatever is out there, which there's a lot of them. So what you'll see, 163, that's a freaking lot. I don't even think, I didn't even know that there's 163 top level domains out there, but there are evidently. And this one's registered in all of them. So not sure what a Taurus is. I'm not sure if that's another language. Let's go over to SpyFu. What was that domain name again? Now, this might be a private seller. What we will do is click on it to find out. But 
That's one of the reasons I don't... So I, I believe it's a misspelling of Taurus. That was my instinct, and that appears to be what it is. Oh, why did I, I type in .com? I'm sorry. That's that's my bad. Clicking around like a madman. Okay. Get rid of the .com, and you see the results are significantly different. So 23,000, nearly 24,000 visitors at your beck and call with this domain name. Uh, and this is the question I have. What is it? I have no idea what it is. We're going to go find that out. If you know what it is, toss it in chat. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, have to Google it. So there are there's only one person advertising for it. So one person paying thirty nine dollars or thirty nine cents to uh, target this keyword. I don't like it, but evidently it means something. So let's go type it in. Like some Latin word. It's a donut shaped surface generated by a circle rotated about an axis on his plane that does not intersect the circle. It's a donut. It's a donut shape, geometric donut shape. So if you want to have a domain name that is a geometric donut shape, uh, this one might be an opportunity for you. So the way that Snap Name works is you need to add it to your cart and you need to order by the date that they specify. So if you want this domain name, you have to get into that auction right now or by the 19th, and then it goes into an auction that is only for the people that have pre-ordered that domain name. Uh, in this case, uh, your order date is August 19th, so you add it to your cart, you agree that you will pay $69 if you win, and that's it. However, Numerous people will participate in the auction. When they do that, that means that you it will go to an auction to where everybody that's participating, the highest bidder wins. Uh, I have won quite a bit. I think I shared out my number of uh, how much we've spent on Snap Names uh, domains. Most of them were back in the day, but it, it's significant. It's, uh, it's well over 100000 like $170,000 or something that we spent on Snap Names. Uh, I'm not going to participate in that. I, don't, I didn't know what it was, therefore I don't really care to own it. Astonish. Let me also just mention this about uh, about snap names. Uh, snap names. A lot of the domains just disappear. They don't actually ever come for auction. Uh, it's just the way their system works. Uh, even though it seems that uh, the domain name is coming for pre-release, a lot of times it gets pulled last minute. Not sure why, so don't get your hopes up with a Snap Names domain, uh, but you you can get some good stuff. I believe I got uh, bartenders.com from Snap Names. So every once in a while it works out. Now I paid $50,000 for it, but I got it nonetheless. I love Astonish. Like if that domain actually uh, comes up for auction, that will be astonishing. crack myself up sometimes okay so astonish uh i will add that to my cart uh i won't sign on sign in necessarily here um let me kind of put this back so basically it goes into your cart uh you go to place your order you say yes i want to continue i'm willing to agree to it and then you will log into your account um, and it does show some credit card info so i don't want to uh, share that out on the screen but here you go, I'll share it out now. So that is astonish.com is in my cart. I have went ahead and ordered it. So I will participate in that auction. All I've said as of this point is if they get astonish.com and I win it, I will pay $69 for it. That's it. So I've not paid them anything. I've just agreed that I would, uh, which I would easily pay $69 for that domain. Uh, but I will enter an auction with probably others of you out there that are uh, seeing astonish.com, uh, which is a great domain name. Uh, it's, it's a good brand, especially not so much for development. So let me see. I got uh, something from, I'm going to put this up on the screen. Let me try to read this. Uh, GD auction, used car auction. Yes, I have that one on my list. I'm getting there. So stick with me. We're going over to GoDaddy next. I'm just going to spend one more minute here on Snap Names. 
because uh, that right there is huge, huge, huge. Uh, usedcarauction.com is one of the domains over on GoDaddy. There's actually a couple of them. I mentioned them yesterday, which we, uh, which I, I'm going to participate in some of the auctions over on GoDaddy. Casual wear, that's an actual thing for sure. Uh, that's worth uh, participating in. I mean, casual wear is like it's pretty much how I dress all the time, just casual. Engage it, that's a good brand. You know, I don't want to spend too much time here. There, there's some good domains here. The only thing is I found that in most cases, they never come up for auction. So if I spend time here with you on it, I am, I'm possibly missing out on some of the GoDaddy domains. Yes, exactly. So on that note, as Matt says, GoDaddy is good. Let's get over there. We're 30 some minutes in. Uh, we're going to spend the rest of the time on GoDaddy auctions. So what have you found so far? What have you learned? What are you missing out on? Uh, you know, make sure that you let me know if I'm skipping over something, especially first time. If you're if you're not familiar with these are what these domains are, how you participate, any like anything like that, let me know. And if I don't get to you in the chat or in the video, I'll at least respond. Or actually, a lot of these guys, uh, Matt, Lee, Michael, so many of them in the chat right now over on YouTube. Are, uh, are are experts in their own right. They buy domains like this all the time. Lots of helpful people. Being in the chat is a, it's why you watch this live, the community of others that are looking for expired domains. So here we are, the main event. Uh, in It's a main event. Sometimes you find good stuff, sometimes you don't. But look at this, 108,000 domains that we have to filter and look through. Uh, and that's after we've already applied the filters that we talked about earlier in the show. Uh, so of those 800,000, 108,000, uh, a lot of them are not going to be available for auction. By that, I mean like fiscal.com, for example. When I click that, you'll see unless something changed, it's sorry, the domain name we're looking for is no longer available for auction. There's a delay in expireddomains.net picking up on it. So you have to click on it. You have to see which click on the domains because that is how you support expireddomains.net. Uh, it sets a cookie and they make a little money every time you buy a domain name through them. So uh, I was not participating in that auction. Anyhow, others do. So what do we order? What do we order GoDaddy domains by? Currently it's ordered by the number of uh, top level domains that are it's registered in which is a very good way to do it. So you can check those and you'll see just right here, workup.com, medbox.com, Skintia or Skintilia, depending on where you come from, top restaurants, which I'm certainly gonna talk about. Those are all pretty good domains in, for some, in some way. Uh, but I don't really use this for GoDaddy because GoDaddy gives us something that the other ones don't. They give us, uh, a fictional valuation. They take things like top level domain, they take some keyword data, some sales data, and they give us a valuation. So what's that domain name worth? I say worth because, well, heck, right here, uh, the fiscal.com, uh, you can see uh, the valuation is 22,000. It was already up over 30,000. And I'm sure this domain name would have went for at least 40,000 or more. Uh, I saw somebody on Twitter uh, that was talking about they were really disappointed. Uh, they were prepared for a $35,000 bid and prepared to go significantly higher than that for this domain. So you can see that domain, uh, they're way off on their valuation of that, which is perfectly fine. And you also see just the opposite where they will think a domain name's worth a lot, but it's actually worth crap. So I'm going to order though by that uh, price. I'm sorry, by the, uh, oh my goodness, I'm a disaster. Here we go. So I'm ordering by that valuation. So even though it is a bit of a fictional number, it's a great way to default your order. So how things show up. Uh, that's why we do it. That's why I use it. I wish it was available on other you know lists as well. So physical.com, we know that's garbage. Uh, hopefully it comes back up, but I'm guessing the previous owner has it. I love tep, top restaurants. There's not too many times that I really enjoy uh, words like top or click, but 
Top's a good one. Toprestaurants.com. I possibly even like that as much as the domain restaurants.com, which was up for auction, uh, private auction a few months back. So toprestaurants.com. Let's see what is going on with this domain name. Uh, $2,600 is what it currently is. Two days, three days left in the auction. Let's go over to SpyFu. Now this is the, I can't spell restaurants. That's why, <laughs> that's why I wasn't interested in restaurants.com. I can't even get it close enough for spell check to figure it out. That's how bad I am at spelling restaurants. So, uh, so toprestaurants.com. <laughs> what, that I can't spell restaurants? I'm, I'm off the show. It was my mom's back here. She, she came into the office today, and she's really disappointed in her son for not being able to spell restaurants. Restaurants? What? what I, I can't spell it. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, 7,000 uh, monthly searches, which I'm guessing it's actually, if you go down to Google, no, it's 8,000. So it's really not as good as what I expected. A lot of people search for best restaurants near me. Huh. I like top. So top restaurants near me somehow gets more than that. So the top restaurant, still a great domain name. If you want to be the curator that allows your visitors, your site visitors, your friends, family, and just the public at large to kind of be the Yelp, you know, of restaurants. Uh, that's essentially what you're trying to do is get the top rated restaurants on the top of the site based on location. You can do all that. Are you a foodie? Are you somebody that's interested in food? And I like, I like picking the top restaurant off a list and going to it. I don't care about food enough to actually uh, do it, but you know, to run the site that is, I will, per well, actually the domain's already too expensive for me. Uh, I would have paid probably 1200 bucks for that domain name. Uh, easily, it's right now already up over $2,600. <sighs> I don't know. I want to give you some amount. Like so A lot of times, if I'm interested in the subject, I will go to this amount, so 7000 times the per click. So in this case, if I was really, if I was gung-ho on restaurants, I'd probably be pricing this one around uh, $8,500 or so. Maybe it'll end up there. Maybe it won't. Uh, it's probably going to stay lower than that. But that's if that's me as a buyer. I typically, when I buy a domain name, I have a reason for buying it. And I usually am one of the, I, I pay good money for a domain uh, when I want it. Uh, so if this was one of the ones that I'm like, I have to have it, $8,500 would probably be my ceiling. Uh, I think it's already over the value price, which would probably be about 1200 building. Oh, here we go. Corsages. You see, I already had that one starred. I'm not even sure if it's spelled right. Let's go find out. Yes. So here's a corsage. If you're not familiar, I'm not sure what the uh, language of origin on that one is. Corsages are the flowers that uh, women wear on their wrists for, well, probably girls more than anything else, uh, wear on their wrists for dances and things. Uh, pretty good domain name, though. I actually managed to spell it. That's good. It's a nice one to actually get spelled. Uh, let's see if the domain name, if the auction is going up. That $260 for a single keyword domain name, it will go higher than that. You'll see that there's six days left in the domain name or in the auction. I would expect that one. You probably can't get a domain name like that for under $2,000. Uh, but maybe, maybe it's, it's a little bit of a niche, uh, type domain. So maybe you can get it for less than 2000. Uh, I am not going to participate in it. I don't necessarily care <clears throat> for the domain name. Uh, but if you were a florist or you were part of a independent florist shop network or something, Corsages.com is a pretty good domain name that you can have for that. Well worth a couple thousand bucks in that case. I'm not interested in developing it at all. How about you? Anybody out there interested in Corsages? Let me zoom in a little bit. I feel like the screen, even when it's... So one downside is I, I wish that things were a little larger on here. 
I tried to get rid of some of the columns in order to make the font bigger, but it just doesn't work. Okay. I can mess with it and try to improve it. Um, let's see here. So top restaurants, Corsage is buildingcompany.com. Possibly a little too generic of a domain name. Let's see if it's actually coming up for auction. Close some of my tabs. Buildingcompany.com, $87. That will end. We will probably be able to mention that Monday as well. Uh, it's praise $7,500. I do like it in the $1,200 range. Uh, it's certainly worth some money. Let's see what people are. Sorry for clicking around all these windows. I'm a spaz. Building company. I'm not, I don't love it. And the, the data is kind of backing me up. I expect the numbers to be a little higher, but I feel like the numbers here are actually supporting my, my hunch, which was, it's not a great, great domain. There's lots of building companies. You know, you got home builders, commercial builders, all these different things, building companies while well, building a building company. Who searches for that though? I don't, I, I don't know. McCarthy building company. These are specific building companies. So they're people are searching for the singular of company well, company uh, because it's in those company names. Typically, I'm, I believe most people are going to be searching for the plural because they're trying to find various building companies that are out there that uh, will do some project for them. So I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. If you can get it for a couple hundred bucks, it's probably worth it. Uh, I would say I would bid up to 688 bucks on it, uh, which I may very well. I'll, I'll probably bid 188. In fact, let's go ahead and let's put that bid in. Let me take it off just for one second, just in case I need to log in. And I'll probably have to log in five times because that's just how GoDaddy stuff works sometimes. Okay, here we go. Let's see. And so I'm in on the building company. Again, I do not love it. I'll probably go up to 188. No more than that. So there you go. I got to do a bid. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, GoDaddy and others, if you go above a certain amount, they need... Actually, I think GoDaddy lets you do a credit card no matter what. I think we've done domains uh, for 20 some thousand on a credit card. I think most of them require a wire transfer above 10000 In fact, many of them are over $4,000. You have to do a wire transfer. Okay, here's the one that uh, I have already starred and that uh, Matt or Lee mentioned in the auctions or in the uh, chat. Usecarauctions.com ends tomorrow. So this ends tomorrow. So you're already seeing the amount up to 3,500. Uh, I'm going to hit that because I do like the domain name. I don't really know what I'm going to go up to. I probably will not be the winner. But let's see some data on this bad boy. It is plural, right? Used car auction. No, it's singular. I prefer it if it's plural, but let's see what the let's see what the uh, so plural is so with an S on the end, so multiple used car auctions. Uh, that is nine fifty. Let's see what happens if we change it to singular. So just use car auction. It does go up. So this is the preferred search term uh, in the used car auction type things. Uh, you'll see a thousand searches. That's a pretty low number actually. So the fact that it's up over three thousand dollars, and I just put a bid in on it. I'm sure I'll be outbid, but that I'm at my max based on this. Now here's what I'm anticipating. Well, before we look, I'm anticipating a cost per click of around. $2, let's go with $2 and 18 cents. I'm way off. See, I shouldn't have bid as much what I did. So the people are only paying 81 cents to target this keyword on Google, but there are a good amount of advertisers. So there's nine advertisers for the keyword used, usedcarauction.com. There's nine advertisers paying 81 cents to reach that thousand well over on google uh it's 3600 
So what Spy Fu does, if you're paying to advertise, it's thirty six hundred. If you are, uh, so there's thirty six hundred searches each month over on Google. But in the natural search engine ranking, Spy Fu is concentrating on the the traffic that you can get organically. You're only going to have an opportunity at a thousand. So you can pay to reach three thousand, but you can get a thousand organically. Still a good domain name. Going back over here to our list that we look for, uh, if you own usedcarauction.com and uh, you were trying to get some auction house out there, maybe a used car, uh, for example, a tow lot, that's why I was interested in it at all. If you're trying to get tow lots or towing companies or something uh, to put their impounded, uh, repossessed cars up for auction on your site, usedcarauction.com is going to have a lot of authority. When you call in, they're going to be like, oh, usedcarauction.com. It's almost like they're going to, in their brain, they're going to think, oh, I've heard of you. No, they haven't. Like you, it, it just, it's just such a good domain name. They think that they've heard of you because you're, it's the keyword that they know of. Like, oh yeah, we use car auction. That makes sense. So authority kind of is, it just, it's inherent. It's like when you see a doctor wearing a white coat, you suddenly think that's a doctor. That's somebody that I would trust to hopefully give me good advice. Uh, so there you go. That's, it's the authority of a white coat. It's the authority of a quality.com. That happens with you, usecarauction.com. Uh, validation, again, if you were to call uh, somebody that you wanted to pay to list on your site, you're validated. Like You're not trying to just get them to list on any website out there, like Bob's. I think I own zoomifieds.com. I bought that back in like early 2000s, zoomifieds.com, just for a fun little project. Uh, but Zoomifieds, it sounds possibly valid, but it's also a brand. It's hard to say. Usecarauction.com, very it's, you're validated. You they assume you've owned that domain name for lots of years. And even if you just bought it this weekend, voila. Usecarauction.com. I do like the domain name. That's why I put a few thousand on it. I'm not going to win it, but uh, good luck to the person that does. And if it's me, good luck to me. Uh, would I recommend to you, if you're a big uh, car fan, uh, maybe if you already use, if you run a used car auction, then absolutely, you should be participating in that auction. For you, I could very well see it being, uh, I could see that domain name being worth $6,000 to an end user, $6,800 to an end user, uh, even more. I could see it being worth more. Especially now, I think used cars in the United States, at least, uh, used cars are actually like there's not as many of them as what there used to be, or some, something weird's going on. There we go. Usedcarauction.com. Total body care. I mean, it's an interesting domain. Not really loving it. So let me uh, grab up uh, Lee here, his comment. Lee is asking, what do you think of age domains? Ucar Auction is 24 years old, uh, for example. I, I believe that age does not matter. Uh, <laughs> age does not matter. Uh, but here, here's what happens. Here's what happens with age. Age is showing you that the domain name has always had authority and valid, validation. Like all these different, all the characteristics that we talk about in a domain name that's perfect for development, uh, age typically shows that. So if you were to come up with a rule of thumb, age matters. Uh, the only thing is, is there's plenty of old domains uh, like CD-ROM or like some of the earliest domains were uh, things that we don't even use in normal life anymore. CD player, I think, is... Uh, was registered. It, there's there's a couple of them out there that are I would not spend two thousand dollars on even if they were registered in 1992 or something like it. The age doesn't matter. They were registered because they had authority back then. Nowadays we don't even use them. Uh, you know, eighttrackplayer.com. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so age is uh, could be used as a rule of thumb. Uh, however, I don't use age at all. I just I, I go with my gut. I go with how many other extensions uh, it's registered in. 
Because that shows you who's there's are there people paying money for that domain name right now? Because uh, if they if they registered a domain name in dot info or dot shop or dot club or something like that, uh, that means that they're willing to spend some money on whatever that topic is. I think that's much more important. Uh, you'll see over here. Uh, so what what he's talking about specifically? This column here is showing when that domain name was first registered. So you'll see 1998 total body care, uh, Grand Sport. 19, like what the hell, Grand Sport? Like I don't even know what that. I would much rather if it Grand Sport maybe. So why did they register it? I don't. We have no clue. So the age means nothing. Firstinvestments.com, 97. Uh, that, that none of that really matters. If you so the rule of thumb can help you uh, identify domains, especially if you don't have that valuation column. But I would highly recommend you use top level registered top level domains as that default sort order. Because uh, if you look, uh, once we get to the bottom here, we'll go to the top and uh, look at domains uh, ordered by year, and you'll you'll probably see pretty quickly that it's. It sometimes gives produces good results, but not as good of results as what I believe we get uh, by the number of registrations. First investments: if you sell aluminum cases, it's pretty niched a niche uh, keyword, but possibly we program dispenses. Dispenses. Let's check that out. Let's see. And I do click on them because there's a chance that the domain name is not available uh, for auction. Uh, but let's check out dispenses. I don't. I, I like it because uh, with legalized cannabis in the United States, that is distributed through dispensaries. So dispensaries dispense cannabis. Oh, there's something there. It, it's kind of a maybe a little bit of a brandable. 870 searches, so very little, uh, very minor. Yeah, there's there's really not much happening here with it, but it is a single dictionary word. Uh, you know, I, I kind of like it a little bit. 314. I'll put a little bit in on it. Uh, that's the kind of domain that I would easily probably go up to like. Even me, I would never develop it. I would not buy it for the sake of development. Uh, that would be more into the investment side. I'd buy it to possibly play with someday. Uh, you know, I'd probably do like 688 bucks on it. Uh, I doubt, I don't know if I'll do it this time or not. I, right now, I'm not feeling it. Maybe tomorrow I will. We are about an hour in. Uh, I. I'm kind of having fun. I'd like to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Feel free to bail anytime because it's not uh, from domain to profit. It's not the official show. I don't really feel like I need to try to end at the hour. I do have a, um, a meeting after this though. So we'll give it a little bit more. Uh, another one I mentioned yesterday. So I, I kind of, during the show yesterday, I interviewed uh, Dave Costello uh, who he owns like palmsprings.com, nashville.com, which Nashville, I did learn, they bought that one in the early 2000s from the end user, somebody that already owned it for six figures. So, I mean, that's that's a that's a play. That's them seeing uh, they already knew that they were making money off Palm Springs. What a great pickup to pick up nashville.com. Uh, we all wish we had time machines and domains. Uh, so career programs I have highlighted as well as savvyshoppers.com. Uh, SavvyShoppers.com, not a huge, the word savvy with those double V's, I don't like it. I would never spell it right the first time, but sounds like a pretty darn good domain name. Sounds like a good brand. So SavvyShoppers.com could be uh, one of the domain names that I have sold. I believe I sold uh, Halls.com, so H-A-U-L-S. Uh, because there's alternative spellings for the word halls, like hallway, halls that way, or halls is in halls, you put a bag over your shoulder type of thing. Uh, I, I decided to go ahead and sell it, sold it for mid five figures. Uh, but they're a hall. It, it was lingo for people that go clothes shopping. So for savvy shoppers, they get great hauls. Uh, 
I like the domain name Halls, but Savvy Shoppers is a pretty good domain name for that kind of thing. Like if you want to show off if, if, if it was an Olympic sport, then Savvy Shoppers might be what it's called. I'm clicking on uh, up. It is no longer available. I was clicking on careerprograms.com uh, because I, I like that one for the idea. Let me see if Savvy Shoppers is available. I clicked on career programs because I like that one just from the idea of uh, I am not a big fan of college. I reluctantly returned to college after leaving after a couple quarters. So, yes, I have a degree from Ohio State. Uh, the only thing is I feel like most entrepreneurs, most uh, programmers, most people in the Internet world don't necessarily need to go to college. You can learn uh, so much from great websites that give you so much information for free that it, you know most of the stuff that we talk about here that I've made you know my success off of I didn't learn it in college college was uh, it was fun for a uh, for the first year then after that it was just kind of like let's get this over with I did enjoy some of the classes but I also enjoy learning uh, constantly point being careerprograms.com uh, could possibly be a great resource for helping people uh, find the training and things necessary to go into a certain kind of career. For example, programming or web design or something like that. There you go. Unfortunately, we'll never know because it is no longer available. Computer programmers. Is that spelled right? Is that legit? Is that actually happening? Why does that look weird? Something looks weird on that domain. Nice thing is, it doesn't matter what it looks like. We're going to check it in over here. I, I'm just, I'm a notoriously bad speller. That's kind of like a handicap when it comes to the domain world. That's why you got to type it in over into uh, like a spy foo. Make sure the spelling's right. Copy and paste it, in fact. Some sites out there will actually almost hide characters and do weird things with domains. You'll think you're getting a great domain name, and in fact, it has an international character in it, uh, meaning that the domain name's probably not even going to really work very well. Basically, you there are some things you need to watch out for. Uh, most of the sites that I'm talking about, you don't have to worry about that on, uh, but there are some sites that will allow international characters. So that would be like a tilde type I or something, uh, I, or the nye sound in Spanish with the end with the, the I believe it's called a tilde on top of it. Uh, those characters exist in a keyboard and in some cases can be registered in a domain name. The only thing is they're very difficult to type in, therefore you have to avoid them. So rookie mistake is to buy a domain name with an international character uh, so copying, pasting, and things like that, verifying the domain name, especially if you're going to put big money into it. Just saw recently somebody almost got ripped. Somebody almost thought they were getting like a three-character domain name uh, for $50,000, and it turned out that it was an international character in it, and luckily they were able to stop the transaction. Uh, I've almost bought uh, a single-character domain name uh, for a couple of thousand dollars. This is forever ago, but it was an international character and I didn't see it. It doesn't show up on the screen until later. And then I was like, whoa, whoa, that's that's not a that's not really a single character. And voila, I was correct. And luckily got out of that transaction as well. So computer programmer, this is seriously uh so computerprogrammers.com. Uh, I like it a lot. Look at this. Six dollars per click. 14 advertisers. Uh, difficulty is very high to rank in the keyword, but if you have the domain name, it does help a little bit. Why does it help? Why does it help with the search engines? This is why right here. Because you have the authority, you have the validation, you have the, like your domain name will matter enough for people to be willing to link to it. Uh, in fact, there's so, a lot of times there's links to these domain names there's links to the domain name just because people will be like, oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You can find them over on computerprogrammers.com, and they'll link to it in forums and different things like that. 
and next thing you know, you actually have a pretty good uh, a pretty good link profile on these domain names. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. Thirteen hundred. What's that domain name going for it? Uh, I'm definitely going to. I'll get the party started on it. I like that one. Uh, we own uh, develop developit.com and a couple others. Uh, we own uh, some some pretty good domain names in this kind of realm. So it's long, as you can see. Look how long that bad boy is. But it's worth a little bit of money. Uh, I don't know what I'll put into it. I will probably go low four figures for that domain name. Very low. Uh, I won't be specific because I don't know who's watching. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this uh, page, and then I'm going to end. So thanks for bearing with me. Hopefully you found some good information, some good domain names, something possibly that uh, you did not... So uh, something good for the show. I, I I don't know. No home runs. I'm not seeing any home runs. Call management. It's a pretty good brand. I, I don't really know what it would be used for necessarily. Digital tricks. Okay. It's kind of fun. I, I'm a big fan of like, uh, especially like programming tricks and things like that. Like little ways of making things happen. Uh, so digital tricks would be a good place to find something like that. I'm not going to get it, but I could see that being a domain name that's used for it. Like the infinite scroll page. My goodness. I feel like I've been at this screen forever. So we are looking at GoDaddy auction domains ordered by, uh, the GoDaddy free appraisal. And we are a hundred some into them. I don't even think we're on page two. Potato King. Uh, that would get, I get a kick out of that one for some reason. Potato King. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Potato Head, maybe. It's like his older brother. Mr. Potato Head was left out of the uh, the hierarchy of, of the potato family, and Potato King is the true master. I don't know, peeps. It's Tuesday. Atlas America, Link Foods. What was that one? Barter deals? Is that the right way to spell barter? And that's one of those funky words that confuses me a little bit. Barter deals. Okay. Yeah, the right way to spell it. Not really much happening with it. 42 searches. I like it. I like uh, those, those shows where people just kind of keep trading stuff. Uh, in fact, if you, uh, I did a test impromptu, uh, impromptu video like this last week, and uh, a Peter, Peter got, came on and he was talking about that AM radio show where they like trade things. Like, I got a pig for some, for a high school football. Like, basically, they barter stuff. Uh, so barterdeals.com would be a good domain name for them. Locationindex.com. I'm going to grab. That one is just out of curiosity more than anything else. I own a pretty good portfolio of index domains. I don't like it other than for that reason. And we foundly. Foundly. Actually, let me get this last one. Onlinedealers.com. Online dealers like car dealers, online dealers, I don't really know, but uh, I'll grab into that auction as well. Oh, that one is in 48 minutes. So that one's coming to a close here soon. Uh, don't know how I feel about it, but uh, it's it's fun. Nice little, nice little domain to end with. And yes, Amar, uh, from India, I appreciate it. We, we've hit, uh, we have Europe, we have India, we have North America. Uh, so we, we we're, we're, I think usually we get, uh, Oceana or what, what do they call Australia nowadays as far as a continent? Uh, I don't know. So you are coming in towards the end of things. And if you are joining us as of this point, uh, what we've spent the time doing was looking through, well, 
probably a thousand some domain names. We searched through well over 500, filtered them out, and got it down to uh, just being able to look through a few hundred domains. Talked about what? What do you think? 20, 20 some domains. Uh, nothing really life altering, but uh, hopefully you picked up some lessons as to what you can look for. Uh, that's kind of the key thing is, did you pick up, are, are you better at searching through domain names now? Yeah, this week, maybe you found something. Oh, look at this. Oh, see, you guys didn't catch this one or you guys just keeping that one to yourself. Lake Tahoe, California. Uh, I guarantee that one has some search juice behind it or at least some, uh, by search juice, I mean, there's going to be some Oh, Cali. There's going to be a lot of searches for it, probably. Uh, 4,300 searches. I know somebody out there saw that domain name and wasn't saying anything to me. But, okay, so Lake Tahoe, Tahoe California. Uh, $1,000 pay-per-click. Only one person paying to advertise currently. Uh, isn't Lake Tahoe like one of the ones that... Um, like there's, it's all smoky right now due to the forest fires or something. Okay, Lake Tahoe, California, 4,300 monthly searches. Uh, that is ending uh, in two days over on GoDaddy Auctions. So if you're a Geo fan, so if you watched yesterday's program and you thought Palm Springs, may, you know, you saw that they had made over $15 million just you know selling tickets and hotel reservations and things like that over there, uh, or... Uh, any number of different things, you might be interested in something, a geo play, that geography play, that location play of Lake Tahoe, California. What you can do with these kinds of domain names is find the local businesses, especially if you live in that area, find the local businesses, put them up on that domain name, some kind of display ad or profile. Now, anyone in the world that is interested in traveling to Lake Tahoe could Find your domain name, find your advertisers and supporters, and uh, and support them. And uh, if you can get that domain name for cheap, I'm guessing because it is a pretty popular location, it's the long version of it. But that domain name probably will go for uh, between 800 and I mean the, the sky is the limit on domain name like that. Could go for 3,000. It's hard to say. Uh, but something like that, those geo plays are, are fun. They're fun, especially if you are a big Lake Tahoe fan. I've drove by it. That's about it. Uh, but if you love it and you own real estate in the area, then certainly uh, Lake Tahoe. Forget the Chamber of Commerce. Be the Internet Chamber of Commerce for Lake Tahoe with LakeTahoeCalifornia.com. That GoDaddy auctions ending in two days. So certainly a nice little – oh, here we go. We got the, uh, oh yeah, we got, okay. So uh, you guys, you, you all saw this. I know you guys saw this domain. Uh, so Nevada is the skiing side. So, and in fact, I did drive by the ski, the Nevada side. Um, it's split between California and Nevada. And so, yeah. So the, so you're basically taking a geographic area and going 50% of it or less or more uh, with that domain name. But there is something to be said for specialization as well. If you, uh, that domain name, you know, maybe the California side, in fact, that might actually even make it better. If you think about a domain name like Lake Tahoe, it's going to be all of the businesses all around Lake Tahoe, which is good. But those Lake Tahoe, California side might want a little bit of uh, something to say like they're special, like Idaho potatoes, Vidalia onions. Uh, what makes Lake Tahoe special? Well, California probably say, hey, because we're in California. So in that case, Lake Tahoe, California uh, might be almost like a specialized tag sharing in that larger geographic area. I don't know. It's it's worth possibly looking at. I, I, like I said, I, I'll put a little bit into it, but I'm not going to be the buyer on it. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, if you have not, if you're watching this on YouTube especially, make sure you've hit subscribe. I need to remember to do that at the beginning of the show. Never do. Uh, but if you care about domain names, entrepreneurship, internet business, uh, if you want some guy like me helping you look through domain names and finding opportunities, then you should probably subscribe to this channel. 
Uh, I do appreciate it. I'm on my way towards a thousand subscribers, which is good because that kind of opens up all of uh, YouTube to me. And uh, we've because we've already hit over 300, uh, we now have the custom URL, which is I think the youtube.com slash C slash Drew Wash or something like that. Basically go to domain to profit.com and you'll find it easier that way. Uh, however, it's pretty cool. So I thank you for joining me. Uh, thanks for si spending some time with me well over an hour now. And I need to get off to my next video meeting with uh, my marketing team. So thanks for being with me. Hopefully I'll see you either an impromptu thing this week. Otherwise, see you Monday at 3 p.m. See you then.